Car crashing into her home on Detroit's east side is the last straw for a woman fed up with speeding drivers and other problems on Seymour Street. Police say they are addressing the issues, but the grandmother tells 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig she's not sticking around to see what happens next. Alisa Jackson says this is not the first time she's encountered bad drivers in the city of Detroit, but she says it will be her last. It's horrible. And I, 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 I moved here um, from Southfield. It's sad to say, but I'm done. And this is why Alicia Jackson is saying enough. A Dodge Charger crashed into the front of her home on the corner of Seymour Street and Brock on Detroit's east side. It wasn't even late at night. It was late Sunday afternoon, the 4th of July, when the Charger and van collided. Me and my granddaughter had just sat down to have dinner and watch a movie. And maybe three minutes later, um, there was a car in my um, dining room. Jackson says too often drivers treat Seymour, a neighborhood street, as if it's a freeway with frequent crashes. Detroit police logged nine traffic accidents in May and June alone on just two blocks of Seymour. Miss Jackson recalls the day about a year ago when she says a hit and run driver dragged her vehicle. And, and I actually stopped and I didn't have to stop. He had to stop sign and he crashed into me and dragged me and my granddaughter. And once he dragged us, then he took off. No one wants to live in a community that's terrorized by people speeding down their streets, uh, not following uh, the yield signs or the stop signs. We've said it over and over again, it's unacceptable. Second Deputy Chief Rudy Harper says Detroit police will pay special attention to speeders in the area, and the city is installing more speed bumps to try to slow drivers down. Last year in 2021, we installed 1,200. So we're going from 1,200 speed bumps to 4,500 speed bumps in 2021. But Jackson says speed bumps won't slow her down from moving out of Detroit. She owns her own home but didn't have insurance to cover all of this. She says she couldn't afford it. Somebody shot my car up. I'm done. I'm done. It's just been one thing after another. All three years that I've been here. This house is bought and paid for. I'm done. I asked Alicia Jackson if there's any way she might reconsider and stay in the city of Detroit and try to fix up her home. She said absolutely not. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.